hello this is the uh, working drawing sheet of a bodice top that we're actually creating at the moment and we have a waist dart on this particular front and an underarm dart here and what we've done previously is we've closed the shoulder darts and we've actually created a waist dart and an underarm dart and if you look at this particular draft you can see all the movements and the procedures that we've gone through in order to get to this stage um, this is probably a really good stage for you to actually use colored pencils or pen. Um, I think probably pencils are better because um, you can, if you make a mistake, just about rub them out. If you use a pen, then it's really permanent. So I definitely would advise the fact that you don't uh, use any coloring uh, tools until the very end, until you're really happy with what you've done. But you can clearly see here that this is my shoulder, my armhole, and then if you come down the blue line and the waist, this is my waist dart. Oops, sorry about that, that's my waist dart. And then if you look at the red line, you can see that the waist dart has been closed, side seam, and then here, this is my underarm dart. So what I'm trying to show you here is, on um, a draft like this, where you've got a front and a back set up, you can do lots and lots of different processes on top of one another. And you have to learn the skill of looking at the original which is this pencil one here and then seeing the different levels that are sat on top of each other and that's definitely a skill that you will learn whilst pattern cutting and it can be very confusing and you know it is a skill that you will learn so what i'm going to show you now is how to trace off the pattern pieces because in the end what we want to do is create this top one side is going to have the waist dart one's going to have the under underarm dart and they're both uh, both at the moment sat on this uh, draft. Now what the difference is with a um, pattern piece is a pattern piece has seam allowance attached to it. And the rule is with the uh, full scale patterns, generally you'll have one centimeter seam allowance around the garment and two centimeters at a hem. Because we're working half scale, everything's been um, scaled down half. So it'll be half a centimeter all the way around and one centimeter at the hem. So tracing off then, um, there, are, there is a skill with tracing off and this is what I'm going to show you now because it's very easy to actually move your paper underneath and then um, errors obviously occur. And because we're working half scale, um, you know, it, it's crucial if you move your pattern paper uh, by a couple of millimetres. So the first rule I would say is you get yourself some pins and you lay your uh, plain pattern cutting paper over the top of your draft and then obviously you know it's really nice and secure so if you actually look at your draft underneath and you flatten your paper at the moment it's quite hard to see but I can see it the key is to actually put a point with your sharp pencil your HB or H pencil nothing softer on the key point so center front sorry that's my button stand then we've got the center front line the neckline on the shoulder We've closed the shoulder dart, so it's the shoulder point. I actually have my armhole here, but I'm just going to put my notch in for the time being. This is my underarm point. Come down the side seam, and the, dart, the pattern piece I'm going to create first will be the actual uh, underarm dart. So I'm going to come down the side seam. I can see my dart leg there come across, so I'm working nice and logical around my pattern. Apex coming across to my dart leg there, that's on the side seam there, coming down here, that is the side seam, and then coming all the way back round to my centre front line and my button stand. So at that stage, what I would do is, I know I've actually got a few curves here, so I've got a neckline. Now when you pattern draft in full scale, it's very, you know, you have to move your paper around the table. Don't lean over the table because actually you end up with a really bad back. So what you have to do is you have to move the paper to make sure that it's comfortable for you to actually create the shapes. And your wrist is a pivot and you get your pencil nice and comfortable and then you can actually draw nice and curves you know, with your actual pencil. So bearing that in mind, I know I've got a curve here that I have to follow. So I'm just getting myself comfortable and I'm just making little dashed lines, moving the paper. And I actually have moved, so just, let me just, that's it. I'm doing the curve like so. So I'm happy with that. I've not moved, I've got my center front line there. 
turning my paper again for my armhole flattening my paper and just checking my positioning is correct which it is now and then I'm going to move down round the curve like so and now they are my two main curves and actually my waist has a little bit of a curve to it at, at present so just using my anchor points which are the dots on the key position let me just check yeah I'm happy with that just look yeah and then tracing off to there once you get to that stage you can actually take your pin out of your paper and let me just get back into position so we can see everything all right so I'm going to take my pin out because often it catches with your pattern master and I'm going to draw my straight lines in now when um, you're creating pattern pieces when you're drafting you don't just have to stick within the uh, perimeter of what you're tracing off make your lines longer and cross over each other that's that's what we kind of expect within drafting so I'm joining these two points up like so my side seam and then my apex of my dart like so and then I know now that actually looks very dodgy I move my pattern master there so let's just do a really nice that's better solid line and there we go let me just put that back there and then you can see actually I've got my center front line here so this is where I would put my arrow head so here you go, here we've traced off the front with the underarm dart and we like to keep that uh, in pencil. Um, if I just turn this now, this is my uh, straight of grain, hence the arrowheads and uh, this is the button stand. So we like uh, writing to be done uh, in a black fine line pen to make the information really clear. So I'm just gonna put this information on now. So this is our center front. And we abbreviate the word front just to keep it short and sweet. This is our straight of grain, again, abbreviation. And then this is our button stand. 